Okay, hey YouTube, um, just doing a quick video on my Orange San Francisco ZT Blade, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I've just done a couple of things to sped it up, so I'll show you. Okay, so I'm on Cyanogen Mod 7. So as you can see, it's got the gingerbread look. It's quite nice, it's got green and stuff. The the I've got I put the link in the description. The um, launcher I'm on is Launcher Pro. I think it's the fastest. I've tried quite a few. I've tried ADW and I've tried Go Launcher EX and stuff like that. So this is the best. And there, that's a uh, the dock. I've put a glass setting. You can change that. Now um, you can see I've got this nice 3D kind of effect. It's very smooth on this. Um, and uh, yeah, you can you can change all this in the settings can change the amount of kind of columns and rows there are as well so um, I recommend you get that advanced task killer you just touch it as a widget and it just clears everything tells you how much you've got available and you should keep about um, 200 at least kind of free it speeds it up so one thing you can do in this signage I'll just show you uh, yes yeah, so you can see it's 2.3.3 that kernel, it's overclockable kernel, um, you'll get it when you download that one, RC4. There's a stable mod out, but I recommend this one because it's, you know, it's better. You can tweak more stuff and, you know, it's just cool. So, um, yeah. Alright, um, so one thing you should do is, like, when you download apps and stuff, you can go here and uh, you move your apps. Some of them, you might accidentally have installed them onto your memory, so internal memory so tr instead just try and move it to SD card and that way it kind of shifts the bulk of it over there so there's only like 196 now left on my actual phone's memory so do that for a few of them it'll free them up you know okay also this is useful history eraser you just tap it once and it clears all your apps cache and history you've typed in your browser and stuff like that it's useful but don't overuse it because you know it's good for your apps to build up a cache it helps speed them up this is also very good um, now this is free memory recover you can get it on the app market so if you look free 223 something like that, so it cleans up quite a bit it takes a bit of time but just Okay, so like three, one, two. So big difference. Okay, so if you, um, I'll show you what I've got my settings on. So I've currently clocked mine on six nine one megahertz, and uh, it's got comp cache RAM usage on twenty six percent. You can only tweak this on the RC four uh, version of the mod. So that's why I recommend getting it, and it increases your virtual capacity. It's a bit like the VM heat, but they work together. So yeah, six nine one megahertz, and that's stable. I mean, I try putting it a bit higher sometimes, but it it crashes on seven seven something, which is the highest setting seven ten. It crashes on that, so I keep on that. Um, change the VM's heap size. Actually, it's better to download. Uh, just give me a sec. This one is called um, VM Heap Tool. You can get that from the market, I think. Just download that, and then... As you can see, I've got mine on 36M. Uh, it come, the custom ROM comes with 32, and that actually helps. I think the original Android um, heap size is 24. So if you increase it, it lets you basically do more demanding applications. So I'll give you a demo in a minute. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, I'd say, to speed it up. Except there are two programs which... Here, called one's called Spare Parts 4, looks like that, so I'll just show you that. Install it. and One of the really useful things about this is you can actually, um, if you go on to application settings, you can actually install or remove some of the built-in applications that you've got, which you don't want, so that's very useful. And you can actually... Well, just random options really. You can put this hot Weiss's radio mod on. It actually improves your data speeds and internet. I've found I can I can notice a difference. It's very useful. And also, if you're going to apply this titanium custom ROM, then I recommend you actually. Sorry, not. 
if you're going to install this cyanogen ROM, I recommend you use titanium backup. It's, it looks a bit like that. And you can just literally back up all your apps and things on it. And then you can restore them once you've wiped your data and stuff. So I'll just quickly show you. This is a HD app, so it wouldn't normally play, but on this it's fine. And um, I'll show you another one which is quite quite demanding. Uh, how about Angry Birds for you? See it runs smoothly on that. There's no, there's no real bugs on that. Yeah. Um. Uh, one thing you should, you can try to test your kind of speed is run this. It's called Quadrant. Um, it kind of tests your performance overall and compares it to other phones. So I just run it. it takes a bit of time, but. Watch it. Um, normally, I'd say San Francisco gets about 550 to 600 without any alterations, but once you've done all these things, it kind of improves it quite a bit. So, I mean, it's testing 2D and 3D graphics, just kind of seeing how, how smoothly it all runs. Twenty-five frames second here. Okay. You just send it to their server and they give it back and yeah, see that's 962, so it's above some other phones. Especially remember, I mean this phone you can get for under a hundred pounds, so it's not it's not too bad. In fact, yeah, it's pretty good. So that's it then, I guess. I'll show you um Yeah, I've showed you pretty much all of it, so thank you for watching subscribe and rate whatever